hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much once again for all your support thank you to all my new subscribers that have joined and welcome i'm glad that some of you are finding these type of content valuable and i hope hope hope, hope to be able to continue to put out some valuable content for you guys so guys um today we're just doing uh it's going to be a tutorial i'm basically just teaching you guys how to do like a mini rope garland and i have two methods that i've used the most popular one is using the five inch balloons but if you've watched my channel before you know that i absolutely hate five inch balloons <laughs> like I've, I've said it before um it's not my favorite to work with so i'm more of a 12 inch balloon girl uh, basically just use that and create whatever I want so most of the designs that I've um, posted or done they are 12 inch balloons 18 inch balloons 36 inch balloons you know that kind of thing so yeah I'm not a fan of five inch balloons but for this the purpose of this tutorial I'll be using five inch balloons um, for the first method so the the solid method and then I'll be using my 12 inch balloons to give you guys another option with my 12 inch balloons so you guys without further ado let's get into the video Okay guys, at this point I've completed my 20 duplexes and now I'm using a, a 260 balloons. I connected two of them or three of them together because this is what I'm going to be using to connect the balloons. So right now I'm stacking my balloons. The first one I did are, are the horizontal. The second one I'm going to add on top at a vertical. Um, you guys, when you use this, please just stack the balloons don't push them all the way down because it's if you push them all the way down it's not going to form the pattern that you're looking for so <clears throat> just lightly put the balloons on top and tie them don't tie them too tight and then you just keep stacking so you just alternate from horizontal to vertical and just keep stacking keep stacking as you do this guys be sure to kind of stop like after a few of them and just to make sure that the pattern is forming you might you want to press down on you know the balloons to kind of line them up to make sure that it doesn't get out of shape because once it gets out of shape it's kind of like you're fighting with the balloons to get them back in line so yeah guys just as you go just keep that in mind you know just after a couple of them maybe six or seven of them just make sure that they're forming So 
so guys i think i've done maybe around eight 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 of them and now i realize some of my balloons are actually not lined up so now i'm just going in and just kind of line up the balloon before i continue you don't want to continue if the balloons are not in line it's just gonna make it harder and trying to you know correct that so yeah here we go guys just keep watching so guys i've completed my first rope garland um i'm just going in making sure all the balloons are lined up make sure everything is sitting flat on top of each other um i'm go gonna now tie the make like a loop at the end of the 360 just so this way i'll be able to put that you know attach it to the garland so i basically creating like a loop that i'll be looping over a balloon on the balloon garland and i'm going to do that for both ends so yeah guys this save you like the work at the end having to like find something to attach it so that's why it's important when you're beginning to um stack the balloons you want to leave out some of the 260 balloons at the end before you start so here we are first one is completed i'm gonna go ahead and work on a second one and then once i get to the 12 inch balloons i'll check back in with you guys Okay guys, hope you're following so far. So now for the second met method, I'll be using the 12 inch balloons. You want to inflate two 12 inch balloons to around four to five inches. And then what we're gonna do uh, is take those two balloons, you're gonna twist each balloon to create a duplex. So create twist each balloon to create a duplex. Once you have two duplexes, you're gonna interlock those two duplexes to create a quad so i believe in my one of my last videos i've mm -hmm. demonstrated how to do this i've slowed, slowed down this portion of the video so you guys could kind of see what i'm doing uh, once i have them i'll interlock them and i'll be using five of each five of these quads for each color so this is going to be a ombre um rope so I'll be doing three colors. So it's going to, going to be this blue here, the silver, and white. So I've completed my five blues. Now I'm starting with my five silvers. 
and then once I have all this done it's going to be the same method that we use for the five inch balloons you're literally just stacking the balloons the good thing about these quads they're already alternating from horizontal to vertical so you just have to look at the position that the balloons are in and then just stack them so this one could be very very tricky guys like this one you would literally need to have some type of experience doing this type of balloons if you have mastered doing these um, mini fillers out of 12 inch balloons then you're well on your way because that is the key um, but like I said these could be very tricky as you can see even I'm I'm experienced and I'm still having a little issue trying to stack them because the problem with this the balloons they move around while you're you know working with them so same method as the first one you know once you start you have to kind of stop and make sure the balloons are lining up and that you're actually forming that shape that you're going for or the pattern so as you can see here some of my balloons are shifted and now I have to start from the bottom to kind of see and where the um, how the balloons are lined up and move them accordingly so yeah guys this one will take some practice or a lot of practice but I actually like this method better I prefer this method because I feel like my balloons look better they're like tighter and once you have them lined up it's harder for them to you know come apart so yep just keep watching guys once I'm done with this I'll show you you know obviously you're doing an ombre so I'm going from dark to light so I'll start off with my blue then my silver and then the white will be on the end you could use any colors that you want um, yeah how whatever your theme is you use color to match that theme so this one is actually for a winter wonderland party that I'll be doing in a you know two days so I'm just kind of like prepping these things ahead of time because they take a long time to put together um so here i'm actually connecting so i'm using a 260 for this one to connect the blue to the silver only because it's i had created the the each one separately so if i had done it like continuously like say doing the blue and then just adding silver one at a time it probably would have been an easier way but because i for the purpose of the tutorial i did them separate and now I'm just like connecting them with a 260. So yeah, guys, just keep watching. We're almost there. And I hope this video is helpful to you guys. Okay guys, so I've completed all my ropes. This is the ombre one, looking so good. So yeah guys, we've come to the end of this video and here is the final look. I hope you guys learned something from this and I hope that you guys actually challenge yourself to use this in your designs.